Hey guys, I just want to go over real quick how I did get the voltage numbers for uh, my amp gain setting. Okay, first of all, you want to get your voltage desired number. Then you want to get your power times resistance. Alright, you can either use your amp, RMS, or your sub. But for the amp at two ohms is 720 RMS. The square root is 1440. When you do the square root of that, the number comes out to be your voltage 37.94. But I rounded that up. So you might as well say this you can round this up to 38 volts. If I went by the sub rating, 1000 RMS at 2 ohms, 2000 square root, the voltage is 44.72. But I always go with the lower number because um, I don't want to stress the amp out trying to push that voltage for this sub because the amp only does this voltage at 2 ohm. See what I'm saying? Now, that just tells me that I need a bigger amp to push this sub. But I just got this sub, so it's okay. I can use this as a break-in amp and then upgrade down the road. But I just wanted to go over that real quick. I'll do a video of how I use the multimeter to actually set it. It's raining today. It's bad weather, so I'm not taking all my stuff out of my car and take a risk of it getting wet. But, uh, yeah, that's how I do it, man. You know, it's your desired voltage. And then you do power times resistance. Whatever you're going to use. Whatever you got your subs wired down to. I got a 4 ohm sub, but I got it wired down to a 2 ohm. So, see what I'm saying? And I use the amp rating at 2 ohm. At 1 ohm, this amp is rated... 1020 watts so i would have a whole different number here you know what i mean but i'd have to have another sub i only got one sub so that's why i got it at two ohms so that's how you do it guys you know if your sub is rated more than your amp use the amp ratings don't use the sub you burn up your amp you know? and vice versa if your amp rating is higher than your sub Use your sub rating. And like say if this was a 500 watt RMS sub. You would want to. You would want to use that voltage. 500. Times 2 ohm. And then use whatever number you get. Because you wouldn't want to use this one. Because you'd be pushing too much watts. To your 500 watt sub. Okay I hope that clears things up for some people. And helps people out. Like and subscribe all right guys my last video i showed you guys how to get your voltage number to set your gain on your amp now i'm going to show you how i use the multimeter to put that number in all right first of all you want to start your car i do anyway because i want full volts and i can't really run it i only got one battery and a stock alternator i don't i can't really run this amp without the car being on or run my battery dead i need another battery and a capacitor anyway you want your settings you want to make sure that your base is turned all the way to zero trouble to zero i got everything faded to the back see and i'm hooked to two back speakers that way i'm not listening to a, a test tone and you also you want to make sure the eq is flat the loudness is off and then you want to get it up to your desired volume about 41 don't distort on mine so I'm not gonna go any higher than that um, then you need to make sure you have a, a, a test tone I'm gonna use a 40 Hertz as soon as Google stops popping up on my phone make sure your volume on your phone is turned up to I made the mistake of not checking that earlier and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't 
registering. Anyway, you want to make sure you take your speaker leads out and uh, connect your multimeter into the positive and negative. Unhook both the back speakers. So that way, not listening to this test tone. I see you can't hear it right now. So let me pull my screwdriver. I got me a little tiny screwdriver for this. Now we're gonna watch the multimeter. Uh, on this, you wanna make sure that the the, uh, the gain is all the way down, the bass boost is all the way down, the low pass filter all the way up, the subsonic filter all the way down, and the phase all the way down. You can set those, all those adjustments later. But make sure your low pass is all the way up, that way you're getting full frequency. Now, let me, oh, let me get my paper so we know my number. Might as well say 38 because I'm doing this one. I'm doing by the amp. So you got to set your multimeter on uh, AC like I got it. Now watch when I turn the gain up and get my desired number. I'm going to try for 38. This amp's a little touchy when it comes to the gain. Oh, it's almost there. Oop, see what I'm saying? It's touchy. Thirty seven point nine. Oh, it went down one. Jeez. All right, let's touch this hair. Thing's so sensitive. There you go, 38, 37.9. I mean, you can't get more on. 37.8. That, that'll be good. See, because it's supposed to be 37.9, but 37.8. And that's all you got to do. Then after that, unhook your multimeter, put your speakers back in, and uh, play a song and set your frequencies accordingly. After that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.